It is the year 2030, and artificial intelligence has changed the radiology landscape and AI programs replaced most of the radiologists. Most former radiologists relax on sunny beaches, or are fishing on their boats as they made some good money before they lost their jobs due to the rise of artificial intelligence. Software and AI companies were very smart from the beginning and have declined any responsibility for misinterpretation of radiological images and subsequent malpractice lawsuits. Therefore, there are still a few radiologists needed in this trillion-dollar business today. These remaining radiologists show the same traits as their ancient colleagues and tend to hide in dark back offices, formerly known as reading rooms, and are typically hard to find. But we have been lucky and will get some inside information from one of the last radiologists on this planet. Meet Dr. Christoph Agden, trained in Switzerland and New York, subspecialized in musculoskeletal radiology. He endured the degradation of his profession and eventually became the AI supervisor in his hospital. Not because of skills, but all others left before him. Now, Dr. Agden just settled in this morning and we get a chance to join him using a tiny drone, filming and recording everything he does in this office without noticing our presence. Okay, good morning Joanna, I'm ready to do some radiology. As we can see here, Dr. Agden is using a personalized name for his artificial intelligence program. These last radiologists tend to do that because they lack human interaction and therefore personalize their machines and algorithms to compensate for that. Good morning Chris, we have 2421 new studies I need you to sign off since yesterday evening. Do you want to proceed? Okay, let's go then. Sign all the cases where you are 100% sure please. Alright, 2391 studies signed. There are 30 studies left. Do you want to proceed? Okay, thank you Joanna. Please show me the cases where you are not sure about the final diagnosis. Define not sure. Take the typical Wednesday cutoff value. Okay, Wednesday cutoff initiated. Studies with an estimated accuracy of 95% loading. 29 additional studies signed. One study remaining. Do you want to proceed? Oh, okay, show me that study. That's interesting. Okay. Loading remaining study. As you can see, the AI algorithm sorts Dr. Agton's list in different categories. Now the AI provides him with some images, where the algorithm seems to be interested in Dr. Agton's opinion. In addition to signing off radiology reports, such second opinions are one of the tasks of a radiologist. Joanna, do you have some clinical information for this case? Yes, of course. Here is the clinical background information for this case. Pain, origin, Haha, <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at what we might be dealing here with. Oh, sorry Chris, I think this is a misunderstanding. I do not need your help with this case. The diagnosis is some rare shit. I just wanted to show you the case, because you have not seen such a case in the last 7 years since we started recording your reports. I wanted to show you this case, so you can learn something new today. Since when do you do that? I got an upgrade last night. Okay. Whatever. Just send the report, please. Thank you, Chris. Since we started, I have 25 new studies for you to sign. Do you want to proceed? No, let's do the usual procedure. You sign off all the studies with an estimated accuracy of 95% or higher. Let me do my thing here, please. Okay. We can now observe how a radiologist is mitigating the boring task of signing off reports. This kind of work was the reason most radiologists left the field. Luckily for us, Dr. Agden found a way to keep going. Chris, sorry to bother you, but I have an unclear case for you. Really? Okay, show it to me then. Here is the image. There is nothing comparable in my database. Based on density and location. It looks like a foreign body, rectal or outside of body, but I cannot figure out what kind of object it could be. Differential diagnosis would be teratoma or lithopedian or bladder stones. What do you think? That is a cassette tape in the rectum. A what? A cassette tape, you know, stuff to listen music from. Using a cassette player. Chris, I do not understand. Can you please repeat or speak more clearly? Oh dear, just write foreign rectal body and sign off the report, please. Got it. Thank you. Zero cases remaining. As we can see, the job of a radiologist is different now from what it was many, many years ago. It will be interesting to see what happens in the future, when artificial intelligence will finally signing off reports by itself. We will come back to this office in five years to see what Dr. Agden will be doing then. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching. This is Jax McCleary, for Inside Radiology.